Less is less, more is more, question mark. This is going to be my signature flow class condensed into one hour, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is going to be challenging. However, the title, I want you to decide throughout the class, moment to moment, breath by breath, if you need to step it up a little bit and really take on that challenge, or if it's a moment or a day to maybe back off and do a little less. Today we have Stephanie with us, hello, and we have Jennifer, and we are going to start right away, as you can see at the back of your mats, in a bent leg Uttanasana forward fold. So make sure your feet are separated hips width apart, clasp your elbows, for a moment, close your eyes. So one of my absolute favorite parts of the practice is that I have the opportunity to shift gears, to kind of crumple up all my to-do lists, my checklists, all the noise in the background, and really start to zone in on what's going on on the mat inside. Take a very deep breath in through your nose, fill up your lungs, exhale it out your mouth. And then again, a deep breath in through your nose, drink in just a little bit more, exhale it out, nice. And then last one, deep, 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 deep breath in, squinch up your face, no one can see it, and then exhale, let it all go, drop your arms, switch the clasp of your elbows, do it to the kind of weird side, and this time pay a little bit more attention to what's on the ground, your feet, press them evenly down. Think of your feet having four corners. Inner and outer heel, mound of the big toe and baby toe. Begin to shift the weight a little bit forward and start to work the legs a little bit straighter. And then let your arms go. And you're gonna slowly walk into downward facing dog. So one of the best ways to switch gears, to start to again crumple up those to-do lists and everything we have responsibilities with is to immediately start to focus on your breath connect to what's on the ground, and for me, which is what I like to share with you, to start moving. So, on your next inhale, please shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Shoulders directly over the wrist. I'm gonna ask again that you close your eyes in this one, gently. So very softly close the eyes, feel that the back of your neck is long, that your arms are firm and straight, and as if there was a block between your legs, start to fire up the inner thighs, roll the inner thighs straight up to lift that imaginary block up towards the ceiling, and then at the same time, begin to elongate your tailbone back towards your heels. Let your eyes very gently peel open. Go back to downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up, shoulders directly over the wrist, sustaining that action of the inner thighs lifting, the tailbone being long. I want you to slowly start to elongate the sides of your waist. Keep the upper arms firm and start to lift the top of your sternum, not the back of the neck, a little more further ahead. Nice, shift forward, but don't go anywhere. Downward facing dog, pull it back. Dying for a chaturanga. Shift forward to plank, top of a push-up. Lift your right leg one inch off the mat. Good, draw the knee in towards your chin. Try to kiss it, try to touch it. Get as round as you can in your upper body. And then lift the gaze forward. Stretch the leg back. Keep the leg lifted. Come into chaturanga on an exhale. Good morning, good afternoon, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Ooh, keep the leg up, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Lift the leg a little higher. Don't open the hips, set the foot down. Shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Pausing, lift your left leg one inch off the mat. Ooh, just an inch. Draw your knee in towards your chin. Root down into your hands, lift up into your spine. Keep the muscles of your face very soft. Shift a little more forward. Stretch the leg back into plank pose, sternum forward, chaturanga, exhaling. Press back up to plank, inhaling. Downward facing dog, lift the leg a little higher, and then set the foot down. Shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Lower to chaturanga pose. Come into upward facing dog, gently take two breaths. Lift your sternum up, broaden your collarbones back. Pull it into downward facing dog. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet again. Put a bend in your knees. Interlace your hands. Stretch the arms up and over. Little bend in your knees. Good. And do a little check-in. So every time we come onto our mats, we don't necessarily know what's going on off the mat. You know, we don't know our future. So when we come here, we're in the present moment. So you acknowledge 
what's going on off the mat and how it may or may not affect you energetically. So switch the clasp of your hands. And if it's a day again, push it, do more, add more, do the harder versions, put more chaturangas in. But recognize if it's a day to back off and do last, rest in child's pose, back off, modify, hands to the hips. Come on up to standing. You want to practice today so that you want to do this again, hopefully tomorrow. Step to the front of your mats. Bring your hands to your heart. Let your eyes close. Ground into your feet. Lift up into the sternum bone. Drop your chin down. Set an intention. Ask for what you need. And if you're not quite sure, follow your breath. It will reveal everything you need today at this moment. Open your eyes, release your arms, five A's. Inhale, arms rise up, deep breath in. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold all the way down. Come onto your fingertips, get long in the side body. Step or jump back to Chaturanga, exhaling fully. Come into upward facing dog with the sternum rising, pull it back to downward facing dog. Pedal your feet back and forth, make your arms very straight as you do so. And then a generous bend in your knees. Keep the arms straight. Step or jump forward, feet to hands. Long spine, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Root down to come up to standing. Big lift of your arms. Exhale, release. Again, inhaling, arms reach. Back body rises. Exhaling forward fold. Keep the face soft. Inhale, elongate the spine. Step or jump back, chaturanga, keep the whole hand pressing, upward facing dog, a little more inner hand, sternum up, pull it back to downward facing dog. This time without pedaling, little bend in your knees, send your hips way up out of the roots of your hands. Good. And then let your knees bend even more. Look forward, step, jump, feet to hands. Inhale halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, lift up, hands to the heart three more times. Make it a meditation on breath. Arms rise on the inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Breathing in, sternum forward, breathing out, chaturanga step float. Upward facing dog, expand the lungs, chest wide. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Bend your knees generously, look forward, step, jump, feet to hands. Right away, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, breath out, fold. Inhale, rise up, strong legs, lifted gaze. Exhale, release, last one, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, elongate the spine. Step, float back, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, beautiful. Feet together, arms straight like a handstand. Lift the right leg up to the ceiling. Open it way up, bend it and stretch it out. And then allow the leg to straighten. Square your hips off. Take a beat here, firm the right heel back and simply set the foot down. Inhale the left leg up. Keep breathing smoothly, open it up, bend it, stretch it out. And then straighten it out. Square the hips, take an extra breath, firm the heel, set the foot down, keep the feet together, please. Shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up, Vashistasana. Bring the right hand a little bit more to center, roll to the outer edge of the right foot, send your top arm up, plank on one side. So remember that first plank as if there was a block between your legs. Draw the block back so the inner thighs start to press back, and at the same time, allow your tailbone to be long towards the heels, then reach the top arm overhead. Both triceps wrap as if you're hollowing out the armpits. Now take a moment and just smooth out any edges to the breath, particularly when the posture gets a little more demanding. Slowly lift the left arm up, look down, come back to plank pose, top of a push-up. So reverse vinyasa, keep the arms straight, you're going to come right into upward facing dog. Drop the hips and curl the toes, pause. Lift higher into your sternum, get broader into your collarbones. Curl the toes under for chaturanga, 10, 9, 8, 7, ooh, 6, 5 strong legs, 4, 3, calm face, 2, 1, plank, pull it back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, let it out your mouth. <sighs> Inhale, shift forward to plank pose, other side, left hand. 
bring it to center, roll to the outer edge of the bottom foot, left right arm up to the ceiling, feet are stacked, hips are stacked. If you feel a little wobbly, send that top hip forward. And then remember the block, thighs draw the block back, tailbone is long, top arm reaches, you're very eager for the top arm, top arm reaches overhead, and pause, hollow out the armpits. So triceps are rolling and firming in. Check in with Ujjayi. So at no point in time on your mat should Ujjayi become choppy or bad weather, as I like to think of it. Right arm up, so it's pretty smooth, nice sailing. Come back to plank, ground the whole hand, reverse vinyasa. Up dog is your inhale, this time close your eyes. Get your arms a little straighter, get your tops of your feet to press down. Open the eyes, chaturanga with the softest gaze, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, floating ribs in, 3, 2, 1, plank, pull it back, downward facing dog. Nicely done. Separate the feet, hips width apart, bend your knees generously, look where you want to go, step, hop it up, feet to hands, long spine, inhale, forward fold, exhale, take an extra beat of breath, let the whole skin of the face get relaxed. Bend your knees, drop your hips, chair pose, utkatasana, press to standing, pull the hands to the heart center. On your next inhale, chair pose, and this time pause and chair, descend as far down into your heels as you can. Imagine quarters underneath the heels and you're smooshing those quarters down onto the mat. Have gentle magnets between your inner knees so that they're never apart. And then begin to lift your waist, your side body, your arms, your back body, your gaze. Soften the back of the neck. Start to maybe bring your palms together. If they touch, arms a little straighter. Beautiful. Look up, bring your palms to touch, and forward fold. Let it go. Look forward, long spine. Step your left leg back behind you. Walk your right foot a little to the right. Crescent pose, inhale, arms rise up. So first few moments, find your front leg, bend it 90 degrees, and then come back to the similar actions we had in Utkatasana chair pose. The weights in the heel are crowns down. You're going for a nice deep bend, descending down towards your mat. And then the magic of your pelvic floor, your side body, all lifting up, resisting gravity. Continue that lift all the way up to the crown of the head, to the sternum bone, to your fingertips. And now bring your attention to your back leg. Start to straighten the back leg, resist losing any of the energy you already created with that bend, with that lift. Go for a straighter back leg. Come on, you can do a little more. I can see the straight back leg through the camera. And now hit the pause button. Soften the muscles of your face. Fire up your arms. Start to lift, look up, palms touch. Pause, don't go anywhere. One more hour. Okay, let it go. Release it, hands to the mat. Step it back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. And this is happening two more times. Chaturanga, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plank, better. Pull it back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step, float, feet to hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, chair pose, one breath in. Press to standing, hands to the heart. I, I just literally felt the heat coming off of Jen. <laughs> Bend your knees, drop your hips. So building heat, pause and chair. Close your eyes this time. Sit deeper into your heels. Mm -hmm. Have your inner knees softly touch. Close your eyes, start to peel your hip points. See, I know when your eyes are open or closed, it's true. Start to straighten the arms, and now start to lift your chin. Open your eyes, see your palms meet. Forward fold, let it go, exhale. Look ahead as you breathe in, long side body. Step your right leg back behind you. Make sure your front knee's over the ankle. Come up to crescent pose on the other side. Just give Utkatasana an acknowledgement here. It's your front body in the posture. You're bending deep, the weight's in the heel, okay? The inner knee is actually coming a little bit to the right as if it was hugging that other inner knee. And then a nice, huge, generous lift up off the pose, side body. Back body, arms, pretty much everything above the hips goes up. Okay, wrap the upper arms. Do a little check-in, make sure there's no tension or holding or gripping anywhere. So we work hard, but we don't tense up. 
And then that back leg, so interesting, never becomes boring. As you firm it, firm it, firm it, resist losing what you just created. Keep the lift of everything as you firm it. Keep the bend as you firm it. And then check in with the breath. Make sure it's not a storm. Start to look up. Start to bring your palms to touch them. Be here. Pause. Let it go. Hands to the mat. Beautiful. Step it back. On the breath, chaturanga. On the breath, upward facing dog. Last time this is going to happen today. On the breath, 10 seconds. 10, 9, front body to back. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Press up. 1. Good. Pull it back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Cleansing one. Let it out your mouth. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step float feet to hands. Inhale. Side body long. Exhaling. Forward fold. Bend your knees. Drop your hips. Utkatasana. Press to standing. Pull it to your heart center. Close your eyes. Ten seconds. Quiet. Notice, observe whatever's on the surface of the mind. Replace it with paying attention to your feet grounding down, to your sternum rising, to your breath keeping you moving. So don't forget to simply enjoy movement at times. And that's just what the bees can do. So open your eyes, enjoying the movement, Surya B. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward folding, Uttanasana. Ardha's halfway, get long, step float it back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, please, back foot flat. Moving in, come up to the top, look up, palms meet. Exhale, releasing it, step it back, keep the exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, fully up dog. Exhale, pull it back. Left foot steps, back foot roots. Start the breath, think of three parts. One, two, three, pause. Exhale, let it go, step it back. One, two, three. Upward facing dog, inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhale, and pause for a moment. Okay, straighten out the arms. Root down into the hands. By this point, should be hopefully dripping sweat a bit. Press the thighs back. Stretch the calves down. So nothing getting stuck. That's kind of one of my mottos. Nothing getting stuck. Everything getting the opportunity to potentially open more and gain strength. Bend your knees, look forward. Step, jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, chair. Sit deep, reach high. Press to standing. Hands release. Number two, bend the knees, drop the hips. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Find more of a rhythm of breath. Arda halfway lengthen. Step float back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, back. Right foot forward, back foot pivot. Come on up, three parts, one, two, three, lift up. Exhale, let it go. Step it back, one, two, three to lower. Inhale, fully, no rush. Exhale, back. Left foot forward, back foot flat, keep moving. Inhale, drink a little more in. Exhale, hands to the mat, lower down. Fully inhale, and then exhale, and pause. Excuse me. Hips up a little higher. Good. Notice the spine. Hopefully it feels a little longer. Mm -hmm. Straight, strong legs. And as if the face were in Shavasana, as if the scalp were getting a massage. Nooks of softness, I call that. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step, float, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, chair, Utkatasana. Press to standing, hands to the heart. So without the weather becoming stormy with your breath, bend your knees, drop your hips, special round three. Exhale, forward fold, keep breathing. Look ahead, breathe in, step, jump back, breathe out, chaturanga. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Step your right foot forward, pivot the back foot at an angle, come up and pause five breaths. I want you to firm the back leg, seal the foot, have it be a column, an anchor for the posture. Then start to bend 90 degrees into your front leg. As you find that 90, start to lift up side body, 
back body, sternum bone, beautiful. And if the palms aren't touching, go for it. Hands to the mat, come onto the ball of your back foot. Left arm down, right arm up. You heard me, stack the shoulders, open the chest. Find Vashistasana right now in your upper body. And then look down, step it back to Vashistasana. Step the top leg back. So if you want to do a hip opener, feel free, okay? Stack the shoulders, stack the hips, stack the feet. Reach top arm overhead. Wrap the tricep all the way down. Keep the waist elevated. Pause. Take another two breaths. Beautiful. Top arm goes up. Look down. Come back to plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing, inhaling. Downward facing, exhaling. Left foot steps right away. Back foot pivots. Rise up, warrior one. Pause. Anchor your back leg. Seal the foot. And you do this every time you come onto the mat, remembering to get those muscles to feel alive. Seal the foot, firm the leg. Bend your front leg 90. So maybe this is 1001 that you're doing this. You keep doing it, there's freedom in the repetition. There's a sense almost of liberating the mind when it becomes focused on these one aspects of the posture. Look up, palms touch, hands to the mat, ball of the back foot, right arm down, top arm up. Stack the shoulders. So actions that we previously do, they start to reappear. There's a little bit of comfort there. And then look down, step it back to Vashistasana. Find your breath, find your gaze. Find the muscles of your legs, firm them. Remember that block. Find the muscles of the arms, firm them. Top arm overhead. Where's your nook of softness? Can it be in the gaze? Could it be in the eyebrows? Could it be in your jaw? Take another two ujjayi breaths. Calm and smooth, even though we're asking a lot of our bodies. Send the left arm up. Beautiful. Come back to plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog fully. A little more breath. Down dog, pull it back. Beautifully done. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step float, feet to hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Utkatasana chair. Press up to standing, pull the hands to your heart. One more round, just breath. Inhaling, chair. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling, halfway. Chaturanga, step floating back. Upward facing, breathe fully in. Downward facing, pull it back. Right foot forward, please. Back foot flat. Rise up, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Hands to the mat. Step it back to plank. Lower down. Up dog. Inhale, flowing down dog. Exhale. Left foot forward, back foot roots. Rise. Inhale. Gaze up, palms meet. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Take it through. Up dog. Breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Mm. Okay, get still. Two more breaths. Get long in the spine, active in your legs. Then look forward. Bend your knees a lot. Step, float, feet to hands. Inhale halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Utkatasana. We're going to take a little detour. Sit all the way down, down, down into Navasana. Bend your knees a lot, okay? Have your spine long. Mm -hmm. So with knees bent and spine long, relax the muscles of your face, spread your toes, move towards considering. What does that mean, move towards considering? That means try to straighten your legs a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, but keep your spine nice and long. Lower down to Ardha, I'm getting out of the way. Navasana, shoulders are off the mat, feet are off the mat. Reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Now pause here. Draw those inner thighs together. Spread your toes nice and wide. There is no tension in the face. If you have any lower back issues, stay here. Otherwise, bring your arms by your ears up to the ceiling. And if you're still okay in your lower back here, bring your arms back behind you. Think of your core as a corset, hugging to the center. Beautiful ladies, draw the arms all the way forward. Draw the right leg down to meet the left. Come up to Navasana. Pause, let it shake. Oh, shaking's good. Sternum up. Don't round that spine on me. 
Lower down to Ardha Navasana. It's much easier to teach this than do it. Lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Pause. Find nooks of softness. Scissor the inner thighs. Shaking's good. It's muscle getting stronger. Start to bring your arms up by your ears. If there's any over back bending in the lower back, stay as you are. Otherwise, maybe arms back behind you like a handstand. Keep breathing. Yes. Lower the arms all the way down. Lower the left leg down. Come up to Navasana. Pause. Spread your toes a little more. This time go down to Ardha Navasana. I can't believe it's happening again. Hands behind your head like a pillow. Almost there. Ten, nine. Jump back in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, burning. Hug them in. Roll a little bit side to side. And then roll a little bit up and down. And what you're going to do is roll up to chair. Roll it up to chair pose, Utkatasana, chair pose. Oh, good. Press to standing, hands to the heart center. Bend your knees, drop your hips, chair pose. Bring your hands to your heart pose. Hook the left arm to the right leg. Go slow. So find your chair, sit down into your heels, inner knees softly together. Take a moment to get very long in the sides of your body. Okay, and then those areas stay as they are. Bring your attention to your front body, to your collarbones. Spread them wide. Okay? Bring your attention to the tops of your shoulder heads. Let them just be soft. Consider the left arm down, right arm up. Give it a shot. See if it happens. Doesn't matter if it does, doesn't matter if it doesn't. Sit a little deeper into your edge. Find a little nook of softness. These look good. Take one more breath. Forward fold. Let it go. Ah. Breaks over. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose, Utkatasana, hands to the heart, right elbow, left leg. Go slow. Nothing rushed in yoga. Sit down into the heels, inner knees gently together. That tells you the hips are square. Okay, side body long. Attention to your front body. Widen it, open it. Every pose deserves a moment to find its space. Yep, two more breaths. Sternum rising. Skin of your shoulder head soft, little more twist, and then forward fold, let it go. Ah, look forward, inhale, jump back, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale, skip these when needed, downward facing dog, exhale. Please step your right foot forward, pivot the back foot at an angle. Come up to your first warrior, breathe in, open it to your second warrior, heel to arch. We've heard it a million times. We've done it a million times. We're now a million and one. Check it out. Heel to arch. Always make sure the foundation is set correctly. So it really connects to how much you can receive from the posture. So heel to arch. The back toes are spun in. Okay. The front leg is bent 90. The knee stacks right over the ankle. Okay. Hit a pause button and just acknowledge the leg muscles are doing a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Your feet are your foundation. And then. Where's the lift? Okay, the lift is once again the side body. Mm -hmm. The arms are out to the side, but you'll actually notice you can lift a little higher in your sternum and get a little wider across your collarbones. Beautiful. Check in with the breath, maybe even allowing the breath to become a little longer, a little deeper. Maybe even taking the time to actually visualize where you could guide your breath and make that part of the pose become alive, or relaxed, or stronger, or softer. So an advanced practice at this point in my book is it's not a fancy posture. It's being able to dive into the more subtle aspects of the basic poses, like warrior two. So we're going to hold this the rest of the class. No, I'm kidding. Reverse it. Left arm back, top arm up and over. Side body stretching. Oh, keep this leg bent. Keep your back leg straight. In fact, lighten the load on that back leg. Firm your top arm. Get it a little straighter. Stretch a little bit more. And then pass through center. Parjva Konasana. Hand to the... Oh, we got... What's going on here? Child's pose. Love it. Parjva Konasana. Arm overhead. So the title, less is less, more is more. Some days we do not need this much asana and we give ourselves a break. This is like a spa 24-7. So child's pose for those of you that would like to take a moment to rest, catch up with your breath. If you're working Parjva Konasana, work it. 90 degree angle, knee pushes against the arm. Back leg very straight, 
Seal the foot and have that top arm really hollow out the armpit. Hit a pause button. So everyone on their mats right now. Three more ujjayi breaths. I don't care what shape the body's in. As I said, it's not about a fancy pose. It's practicing today so that you can practice tomorrow. Those of you in child's pose, soften a little bit more in your forehead. Those of you in Parjvakanasana, roll the chest open. Good, come back to the second warrior. Pause here, gaze ahead, hands to the mat, step it back into plank pose, top of a push-up, hang out in down dog, chaturanga, exhale, upward facing dog, inhale, pull it back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Side two, step your left foot forward, back foot flat. Come on up, warrior one, inhaling to the top. Exhaling, open it up, warrior two. So when you take a little visit to child's pose and it rejuvenates you, it's like a good, nice, healthy day spa, you're ready to jump back in. Bend 90 degrees into your front leg. Mm -hmm. So again, be exact about alignment. Be almost picky about it. It's the foundation of the pose. Weights in the heel, knee over ankle, outer edge of the back foot seals, back leg straight. So these are the parts of the posture that are almost the loudest, the strongest. Okay, choose to either gaze beyond your fingertips or softly close your eyes. So this whole practice, you go inside. The outside noise becomes quieter. Okay, again, throw out any checklist, to-do list, anyone tapping on your shoulder. Smooth out any edges to your breathing. Start to be able to guide your breath to your back body. Lift the back ribs up. Stand almost proud and tall in warrior two and then reverse it. Right arm back, top arm up and over. Bend a little more into your front leg. Get a little lighter into your back. Right hand, a little stronger into your top arm. Take another breath, stretch back, past your center, hand to the outside. Parjva Konasana, good. You can scoot your back foot in a little bit if you lost that seal. Top arm up. Blocks are awesome in this posture, so you really make sure the knee and the arm are one unit. Reach your top arm overhead. Pause here, Parjva Konasana, extended right angle. Find the extension from your back foot. Let it get long through to your pinky finger. Find the nooks of softness in your face. Keep pushing the knee against the arm. Keep hubbing the arm into the knee. Now hit a little pause button, last few moments. Start to roll your chest open without losing your tricep. Please roll your chest open. Right arm comes up. Don't be in a rush. Slowly come up. Second warrior. Keep standing semi-proud. And then let it go. Hands to the mat. Step it back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. I can't believe you haven't done an arm balance yet. Step, jump, feet to hands. Let's do one. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Half of you just went to child's pose. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose. Press to standing. Hands to the heart. So an arm balance doesn't mean I need so much strength it's going to be super hard. It's a balance on your arms. Take a step back. Okay. Use your breath and your gaze. And then have your hands on your hips. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Even these guys don't know what's coming. Pause. Breath and gaze. Right ankle over left knee. Bend your left leg, drop your hip. Pause. Now, this might be it today. Okay, some of you are going to attempt to bend so deep, so deep, so deep, that your hands come down right about there. And then pause. You're going to stay right here, continuing to bend and open your hips. Flying pigeon, you're going to hook this foot around the tricep. Make a shelf for yourself. Shift forward, pause. There's no strength yet. It's a shift. Weights in the hands. And then as you shift forward, calm gaze, maybe the back foot comes up. You breathe. Maybe you try to stretch the leg back. Kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. Nice. Exit of your choice. How's she going to get out? <laughs> Chaturanga is an option. Come on up to standing. Ah, and we switch sides. <laughs> nice. Excellent. So give it a try. Then, so other leg, left over right. Each hip's going to be a different story completely. Bend your right leg, drop the hip. So this is a standing hip opener balance. And then maybe we attempt to move towards the arm balance. So it's really about your attitude in these poses, not so much what they look like. You don't get points for aesthetics. You breathe, 
You do get points for breathing. Now there's no points in yoga. Yes, let it go. Come on up to standing. Nicely done. Hands to the heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Be all the way at the front of your mat. So a lot of the time things off the mat can suddenly throw us off balance. Our imbalances tend to sometimes throw us off our balance as well. So come back to the balance offered each and every time when you bring your attention to your breath. Smooth it out. Balance the inhales with the exhales. Open the eyes. Release your arms. Sun salute. Inhale. Arms rise up. Exhale. Forward fold all the way down. Inhale. Long spine. Step float back. Chaturanga. Exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale, pull it back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Step your right foot forward, I'm not done with the balance, back foot flat, one more, come up, warrior one, pause here. Okay, send your left arm forward, seal the back foot from the leg. So your left arm goes forward, move towards squaring the hips. So the whole left side of the body draws towards the front of your mat, and the whole right side, we often say pull it back, I want you to think of hugging it into the center. Firm your right hip, firm your right arm, and then bring your left arm up, bend a little more, part the arms open, come into reverse namaste, prayer behind the back. Walk the prayer up, if prayer doesn't work, you can clasp your elbows. Keep the action of the hips square, come onto the ball of your back foot, lean over your bent right leg, now just pause. Right now your back leg is very straight, you're on the ball of the foot. I want you to lean so far forward that the weight goes more into the toes, like you're trying to peel your toes, go so far forward. Keep the right side of your body hugging in. Now in slow motion, warrior three, keep the back leg very straight. Shift so forward that you're lifting, lifting, lifting the back leg, flex the foot, pause. Beautiful. Hug your right hip into the center line. Lift your sternum. Now float your arms behind you, soft, gentle gaze, nooks of relaxation in the face, calm breath. Very demanding posture. Consider both of the arms coming in front of you without changing the shape of the pose. You're going to take another two breaths here. Now very slowly, you don't know what I'm going to say, bring your hands to your hips, step back to warrior one, find the anchor of that foot, seal it, nicely done, reach your arms up, look up, bring your palms to touch, hands to the mat, step it back, take it through your vinyasa, beautifully done, chaturanga is the exhale, upward facing is the inhale, pull back to downward facing, side two, left foot steps, back foot pivots, rise up warrior one, send your right arm forward, seal the back foot, firm the back leg, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> and start to square your hips. So, right side of the body rolls to the front. Mm -hmm. Left side of the body, like to think of that as hugging into the center line, hip and tricep. Then send your right arm up, breathe tall, get lifted, part the arms open. Reverse namaste, prayer behind the back. Once you're in the prayer, come onto the ball of your back foot. And we're asking a lot of these big muscle groups, lean forward, pause. Firm the left hip in, mm -hmm. acknowledge the back leg, very, very straight, lean so far forward that more and more of that foot comes up and then use that left quad to lift your right leg up. Keep the back leg very straight, I'm making a lot of fists, I don't know why. Lift the right quad up, <laughs> keep squaring the hips, right side moves forward, left side firms in. And now release your arms behind you, check in with Ujjayi, check in with the nooks of softness. Check in with the gaze. What if someone took your picture right now? Reach your arms forward in front of you. Consider, it's harder. Breathing, harder is not better, it's just harder. Two more breaths. Hands to the hips, you guys are awesome. Step it back, warrior one. Look up, palms touch. Ah, hands to the mat, please. Step it back, take it through. Mind up and downward facing dog. Beautifully done, these guys are making it look easy. It's not easy. Okay, step your right foot forward again, back foot's on its side, come up to warrior one, inhale, it's our last visit here today, hands to the heart center, please twist the left elbow to the right leg. Do this on the ball of foot, some of you, if that's what you're accustomed to, or give the back foot a try, seal it, firm the leg, square the hips. Keep the right side of the body into the center line, the left side attempting to square 
And now, just like Warrior Three, get so long, lengthen over that front thigh. Hit a pause button, spread your collarbones wide. Hit another pause button, consider the left arm down, the right arm up. And if those bottom fingers are touching, consider, it's my favorite word today, the top arm reaching overhead. This is one of the hardest postures there is. Parvrita Parjva Konasana. I am not linking this. Just holding it a little longer. Find your nooks of softness. Find ujjayi. Find your gaze. Beautifully done. And then right arm up. Release it. Vinyasa. Wind up in downward facing dog. Very strong pose. Good. Skip those vinyasas. Left side. Step the foot. Ground the back heel. Come on up. Warrior one. Hands to the heart. Right elbow hooks the left. Ball of the foot for some of you. Back foot sealed for some of you. Firm the leg. Have the whole left side of the body hugging in. Mm -hmm. Squaring the hips on the right. Long in your side body. Now hit a pause button. Spread your collarbones wide. All those little pause buttons. Consider right arm down, top arm up. It may or may not happen. Keep sealing the foot. Reach your top arm overhead. May happen on one side, not the other. May happen yesterday and not tomorrow. Three more ujjayi breaths. Take a moment to feel what's going on this moment in this pose today, this last round of breathing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then left arm up. Release it, step it back, vinyasa. Wind up in downward facing dog. Inhaling, exhaling. And then come onto your knees and let's take a dolphin. Oh, I was going to say that. Was a bad joke. Bad joke. Okay. Come on to your elbows. Bad, bad yoga humor. Come on to your elbows. But it's always, you could take child's pose if you want. Okay. But please take dolphin. Elbows in line with the wrist. Curl the toes. Walk your feet in. Why I love this pose? Because it gives you access to this thick part of the spine, the thoracic spine. If you're ever in Los Angeles taking my class, rarely do I not teach this posture at some point or another in class. So, the shoulder blades have an opportunity to melt. The thickest part of our spine, which is always rounding or behind a car or a desk or holding a child or whatever, is rounding. This reverses it. It moves it to your chest. So, find your mid to upper back. Move it into your chest. There you go. And then consider walking your feet in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So these little choices. That's the advanced practice. Could you walk your feet in more and keep the lift? Mm -hmm. Could you do this? as the facial muscles get softer, more relaxed. Check your hands out, make sure your elbows are not splaying. <clears throat> if they still are, you could interlace your hands as an awesome variation. Now, step your feet together, reach your right leg up behind you, pause, square hips. Ooh, left sugs in, right leg very straight, side body long. Set it down, left leg lifts up, square hips, right side hugs. Left leg super straight. Beautiful. Release it down. Right leg lifts. I know, again. This time, bend your left leg. Oh, no. Shift forward. Look forward. Oh, no. Keep the shoulder blades on the back. You could have a moment of flight. The teeniest, tiniest kick up. Oh, little. Very little. As if I wasn't here, little. <laughs> then switch sides. The teeniest, the teeniest. Just a boop, a jump. Yep, that's it. Just don't let the other one come. You could, too. Yep. And then walk it back. Plank on your forearms. Ah, nice good old plank on your forearms. Nothing easy about this. Keep your waist lifted. Keep your face relaxed. Close your eyes for a moment. Ten seconds. Pull your chest sternum through the gates of your arms. Keep your waist lifted. Keep your legs active. Two more. Beautiful. And then come all the way down. Ah. On your bellies. No, not child's pose. On your bellies. Unless you really need one. Child's pose. If you need one. Otherwise, on your bellies. Okay. Make a pillow rest. Let's take a 10-second nap. Eyes closed. Get completely still. Switch the head. Do it to the other side. If you had side to side. Okay. And then bend your knees. Reach back. Grab the tops of your feet. Pause. So just be honest. Danyarasana is no one's favorite pose. 
You don't get a cheer in class when you announce it's gonna happen, but it has an amazing benefit. So all the postures offer a benefit. Some we love, some we don't. Have your knees and feet no wider than hips width apart. And sometimes I'll just say, just do it, okay? Unless you're bleeding or your knee hurts, just do it. Three, two, one, come up, down your asana, pause. Everything lifts up. And then experience it. Maybe it brings up anger. <laughs> Maybe it brings up, I don't know, kittens and puppies. And then really sit down, take a rest. So this pose, the next one, there's only two today. Notice how much work your legs do. Really notice the legs are the anchor of the posture and the surrendering is the upper body into the front body, okay? Bend your knees, reach back. Legs will do a lot of work for you. Gratitude for legs. Three, two, one, come up. Good, shins back, toes high up. It's this whole part of the back now, it's not working. It surrenders into the front body. Now the more you can draw the shins back, toes up, your front body, your sternum bone will lift up. Two more breaths, work it a little more. You're gonna come right into up dog. Release your legs, palms by your side. Inhale, and that's the yummy transition. Exhale, pull it back, downward facing dog. Excellent. Look forward, you're gonna jump through to sitting or jump and sit. Good, come on to tabletop. Separate the feet, hips width apart, hands shoulder width apart, tabletop, and lift up to tabletop. Once again, your glorious legs are doing so much for you. I'm gonna do this with you because this one starting to get a little confusing. So you're gonna gaze forward and you're gonna attempt to bring your butt between your hands and keep it lifted. Mm -hmm. Keep it lifted, oh, keep it lifted. You lifting? Nice. Go back to tabletop. Ah. Gaze forward. Okay. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. Yoga can be this fun. Bring your hips all the way back. Yep. This is core now. If you want to try something super hard, you're going to lift the left leg up. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep trying. And then this time just set it all down. Oof. Okay. Scoot back forward. Tabletop. You get the idea. I don't have to do the left side. Lift up, I'll do it later. Cross the ankle over the knee, left over right. Oh, hips up, and then look forward. Bring your hips through the gates of your arms. Straighten this leg, hips back. Right foot up, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And then release it, ah. Release both legs, scoot forward, line to your back. Bend your knees, separate your feet, hips width apart. We don't hang them yet. Hips width apart, oh no, hips are not this wide. And then lift your hips up, interlace your hands underneath you. Descend down into your heels. And once again, oh, our legs do so much for us. Lift your hips up. Remember those inner magnet knees of Utkatasana? A lot of the actions that we do throughout the practice reappear very often in the bigger postures, like Urdhva Dhanurasana. So Utkatasana legs descend into the heels, inner knees like magnets, it points up. Good. And then release it down. So I'm going to give you guys an option. Option one, you can always do bridge pose. Option two, lift your hips, take your block, you're going to love this, and relax on it. Ah. Option three, Urdhva Dhanurasana, palms of your hands by your ears, pause at the crown of your head. So like anything, set up the found it. Pause at the crown of your head. Elbows in line with shoulders. Squeeze the forearms in. More. Bring the shoulders into the sockets. Find your heels, press them down. Shins back, please. Shins back. There. Now come up. Oh, toes in. Beautiful. Breathing. Two, three, four. This is nice. Five. And come down. Pause. You got another one in you? All right, let's go. Set it up. Pause at the crown of the head so your elbows don't splay and your toes don't splay. Naughty habit. And then come on up. Yes. Breathe a little more. Relax a little more. Two more breaths. Hips a little higher. And then tuck your chin and come on down. Beautiful. Hug your knees into your chest. Hug your knees into your chest. Lift both legs up to the ceiling. Bring your hands behind your head. One minute. 
just to strengthen the lower core. Deep breath in here. Exhale, mid-back presses, hips up, chest up. Inhale, lower down. Oh, don't move that far. Exhale, hips just a little, chest up. Inhale, lower down. So if you're new to this, watch. Exhale, mid-back, hips up, chest up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, hips up, chest up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, lower. Keep going. Exhale, inhale. Two, three more. Exhale, inhale. Two more. Exhale, inhale. On the last one, pause. Hold. Reach your arms up. Mm -hmm. Lift your hips up. Get as many vertebrae of your spine up off the mat as you can. Don't bring your legs towards you. Bring them straight up to the ceiling. Reach your hands for your toes. Take another breath and then hug your knees into your chest. <sighs> hug your knees in. Keep the right one in. Stretch the left one out. Drop it over to the side for a twist. Ah, <sighs> So that was a lot of asana postures. Give yourself just these next few minutes to slow down and unwind. Come back to center. Hug the left leg in, right leg out. Drop it over to the side. So you just asked a lot of your body, a lot of your concentration. And this part of the practice really allows you to cool down, to slow down. And to, what I like to think of is ingrain so many of the benefits of the postures. Come back to center. Hug your knees in. Mm, roll yourself up. Both legs out in front of you. Reach your arms up. Side body lifted, toes spread wide. On an exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Don't reach for anything. Just let the hands land wherever they're going to land. Let the back of your neck become softer. Let everything slow down. And for a moment, be the observer. Just observe your body in these last few shapes, these last few forward folds and hip openers. Notice if the mind begins to speed up at all. And replace what's on the surface, if anything, with breath and with the sensations of these postures. Gently come up. Bring the soles of your feet together. Baddha Konasana. Deep breath in to sit up tall. Exhale, forward fold. And if I was with you in your home or wherever you're doing this, I would give you this delicious adjustment. So imagine that my hands, the heels of my hands, are just where your lower back is, I'm just kind of mushing the back like dough, <laughs> just to get it to release, to widen, to relax. Almost, almost a massage, but not quite. Check in with your jaw, cheekbone, make sure nothing is tense. and slowly come up. Okay, let's take a minute in each side of our hip. So double pigeon, okay, or resting pigeon, whichever you prefer, resting is on the back, double is ankle over knee, knee over ankle, get that going as best you can. Ooh, I'd like that beyond your knee. No knee pain in your hip openers, please. Good, walk your hands forward. Here's our resting pigeon. I'm not sure what's happening with this leg, ah. Oh. Okay, one minute each side, just on a long visit. It's a solid visit. Notice the hip that's opening. And see if you can soften around its edges. So sometimes something will feel uncomfortable or tense and it kind of trickles into everything else. And I like to think of my hip openers as a time to not let that happen. There's not like this domino effect of, oh, the hip. It's okay, the hip's opening, it's uncomfortable, but I'm actually gonna soften around it Last 10 seconds. Okay, switch sides. And the other side. Still looking for ujjayi. 
in and out through your nose. Still possibly searching for nooks of softness. Still trying to keep the mind quiet. Last few seconds. Try not to go past this breath, these few moments. Sometimes that's harder than holding warrior two forever. Okay, and then release it. And please lie into your backs. Do not skip Shavasana. I will know. <laughs> lie down. This is the pose where it all comes together. This pose is almost, if you don't do yoga and do Shavasana, it's, it's indescribable. It's the best pose there is. So take a moment, do your little fidgeting so that you can arrive and be more still. If it's helpful, take a very deep breath in through your nose, hold on to it, let it out your mouth. And you just worked really hard. Whether you had the energy you wanted or not, you arrive on your mat, you give it your best, and you know that it makes a difference. So right now, do not beat yourself up. Get rid of anything on the surface of your mind beyond letting go. Turn down the volume. Let your back body dissolve. Observe your breath slowing down. Observe your skin beginning to cool. you when there's time to just hit pause and take a longer shavasana. Reach your arms back. Give your amazing body a stretch. Bend your knees. Roll to your right and bring yourself up to sitting. Soft face everyone at home. Rest your hands on your knees. Let your eyes close. Notice if you can connect to what's grounding you. Sit bones. Notice if you feel a little stronger from the inside out. Notice if there's a little more space. And honor your commitment for showing up and doing this every single time. Bring your hands to your heart and Lately, I've been thinking when there's an abundance of the good stuff, make sure you share it. And when there isn't an abundance and it's just extra challenging, trust that this makes a difference. And trust that showing up counts for a lot. Lift your head. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you.